Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing what exactly the Ninjago series after Ninjago Dragons Rising will be all about and what I would personally like to see for this upcoming series again after Dragons Rising wraps up. With that being said, this video will also contain spoilers for everything involving Dragons Rising so far, especially Season 2 Part 2 spoilers are ahead you have been warned and also what exactly am i talking about what series after dragons rising well for those that might not have been caught up to speed recently ninjago series head writer doc wyatt very heavily confirmed that ninjago as a series would not end when dragons rising ends citing and i quote absolutely not dragons rising is one story ninjago is a universe and even though i still feel like dragons rising is still years away from actually ending, I have been thinking about what Ninjago could do after Dragon's Rising wraps up. What exactly could they do for another Ninjago series following Dragon's Rising? Well, let's discuss my pitch. So this idea is to actually do a prequel after Dragon's Rising wraps up. Not a sequel to Dragon's Rising as it is, but a prequel predating not only Dragon's Rising, but also the original Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu TV series. This prequel could focus on all of the characters that we've seen from flashbacks. So Wu, Garmadon, Rei, Maya, a lot of other characters as well that we've seen throughout Ninjago history. The series itself could retell events that we've seen through flashbacks from previous Ninjago storylines, adopting a lot of those stories but expanding them, ultimately giving us more context and elaborating on events that we've seen from Ninjago's past. Because as a longtime Ninjago fan, a lot of Ninjago history greatly intrigues me, and I feel like there is a lot of untapped potential here to again expand on these flashbacks and make them their own storyline in and of themselves. Of course, I do have some restrictions that I feel like this theoretical series should rely on. For example, this prequel series should rely just on expanding flashbacks, not really retelling events that we've seen in other forms of Ninjago media, like books, for example. Spinjitzu Brothers is a great instance of this, being a prequel Ninjago series already, but taking place prior to the death of the first Spinjitzu master. This theoretical prequel series should take place immediately following the death of the first first Spinjitzu Master. That way we are not retelling events from Spinjitzu Brothers, and we are also picking up where Wu and Garmadon are at their most vulnerable, because again, they would be the main characters of this series. From there, you could get into other arcs that we've seen referenced throughout Ninjago's past, such as when Misako gets introduced into the picture. This would also give Ninjago another chance at doing a love triangle storyline, which could work, but the previous love triangle that we've seen of course being the infamous Jay, Nia, and Cole love triangle from season 3, a lot of Ninjago fans really did not like how that was handled. Here we have an opportunity to actually tell that storyline properly. Because again, before the love triangle wasn't the issue, it was the execution of the storyline. Here we could see another love triangle, but it could be done even better. After that, we could get into Wu and Garmadon separating for a while, while Master Wu starts training a young Moro, and Garmadon starts training under Master Chen. From here, ultimately, that would lead Garmadon into the events that we see from the Shatterspin comic. On the other hand, this is the exact same time that Moro was being trained timeline-wise, so elaborating on Moro's character even more would give Moro fans that craving that they've been having for years, where Moro needs to return. Maybe this is the way that Moro could come back and get expanded on. The Serpentine War would follow next, and in my opinion, this would be the most important part of this prequel series because the Serpentine War is wild and there are a lot of events that we've seen throughout flashbacks that could totally be expanded on. In fact, I believe the Serpentine War could take up several seasons of this show. We could focus a lot on the war for Ninjago and how it affected our main characters with characters like Master Chen being the main villain. 
and we could possibly see other characters pop up in the show for the first time, like Lord Mogra, who was the main antagonist of the Garmadon comic series. We know that he had a hand in this war, this show could finally show us that. Not only that, but the series could also elaborate more on the Tournament of the Sources, since we know that this tournament was previously held throughout years past in various other realms. Maybe this generation of Elemental Masters also competed in this tournament, this series could explore that, and also give us a proper tournament arc with a clear winner, which is something that Ninjago has yet to do, because there's always some type of villainous subplot going on. Again, this could provide that opportunity. Ultimately, the series would end with the battle between brothers, the final showdown between Wu and Garmadon at the monastery for control of the golden weapons. We could see the events of Garmadon getting struck down to the underworld, maybe even having Master Wu inform Masako of this event. Masako might be pregnant here, she might have already given birth to a young Lloyd. All of this could tie in extremely well, and we could see this all for the first time, rather than just hearing about it. I know we had the battle between brothers short before, but again, that is a short. We could dedicate a whole arc of a TV series to this event because, arguably speaking, this is one of the most important events in Ninjago history. That's what I would do in terms of a structure. In terms of models and animation, I would love for Wu and Garmadon to adopt the looks that we are more familiar with nowadays, with Wu looking more like Wu from Ninjago Hunted and Garmadon being tweaked slightly to look more like Lloyd. I know that their classic design are, well, classic and iconic, but I feel like for the timeline to make sense, we might need to retell these events using updated animation models and updated designs that allow the timeline to flow more properly and smoothly. Doing a prequel would also pave the way for more Ninjago lore to be expanded on, and it could possibly show us a whole bunch of new antagonists that we have not seen before from Ninjago's past. And for another thing, like I said earlier with Moro, this could allow for classic Ninjago villains to finally make their way back into Ninjago canon without needing to bring them back somehow for the modern day. A lot of longtime characters that fans would love to see return, like Moro and the Time Twins, could show up here and not only satisfy Ninjago fans' cravings, but also satisfy the current time period. Not only that, but this would also be pre-merge, meaning that this would establish a nice back-to-basics approach for the Ninjago series, really only taking place in the realm of Ninjago, possibly exploring other realms too, especially if certain storylines would need to be addressed. I feel like once Dragon's Rising ends, a nice back-to-basics approach would be pleasing to a lot of Ninjago fans out there. Also, probably the biggest benefit of doing a prequel like this would be to go back and give more context and more character to some of the older elemental masters, including Rei, Maya, Jay's biological mom as well, because again, they would be the main characters. This would also give a lot of opportunity for older mysteries to finally be solved. And also from the perspective of Lego sets, this also has the opportunity to bring us back to classic Ninjago, featuring a lot of temples, ancient looking structures, even some dragons thrown in there too for good measure. I think this has the opportunity to generate a lot of what Ninjago fans love about classic Ninjago without rebranding to something like Ninjago Legacy. And sorry if I'm listing off just so many things that this prequel could accomplish, but I feel like this is a very very strong idea. Is it completely 100% airtight? Well, not necessarily, because with this being a prequel, it automatically falls into the same trap that every prequel falls into. That, of course, being the fact that the audience knows how this will end. Being a Ninjago prequel, we know that this would end with the battle between brothers and with Garmadon being banished. However, the build-up to all of this would be more exciting for Ninjago fans, because we are dreading that inevitable collapse in the relationship between these two. That's what makes Ninjago prequels like Spinjitzu Brothers so strong. I feel like it's easy to say that a prequel would not work for that specific reason, but I disagree. I would love for this next Ninjago series to be a prequel, for a lot of reasons that I've listed. But I feel like all things considered after Dragon's Rising, we would just
just get a sequel to Dragons Rising. Like in the same way that Dragons Rising now is a sequel to Masters of Spinjitzu, I feel like the next series to come after Dragons Rising would just be a straight up sequel. And me personally, I would not mind if Ninjago did a sequel. Again, I feel like they are more likely to do a sequel as opposed to a prequel, but as a longtime fan of Ninjago history, a prequel series would be awesome, and it's hard to deny that I would love that more than anything. But overall, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Just wanted to really quickly hop on here and talk about my ideas for a theoretical Ninjago series that would come out after Dragon's Rising. Remember, Dragon's Rising is not the end of Ninjago, so there will be something inevitably down the line, but what do you think that should be? Should it be a prequel, or maybe a sequel to Dragon's Rising, or perhaps something else entirely? Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.